Now we have new information in a deadly crash that happened overnight in Virginia Beach. Ten on your side, Deanna LeBlanc is live in the newsroom with the details. Deanna? Uh, yeah, Anita, it took police a while to identify 33-year-old Misty Luce as the victim who died in this crash, in part because she didn't have any identification on her, but also likely in part because the truck she was driving had been reported stolen in another state. Police did quickly identify the owner of a second truck, also totaled at the scene. I get a call at 2.30 in the morning from the police department. And he says, your car's been hit, and so has the bank building. So, oh my goodness. This is what's left of Mike Barnes' Ford F-150 after a blue Dodge Ram smashed into it and then into a Bank Atlantic building early this morning. We came up here right away and saw the carnage. We couldn't even get to the vehicle. They wouldn't let us get because they viewed it as a potential fatality and they had to treat it as a crime scene. Barnes says he parked at the bank to watch the fireworks at Mount Trashmore across the street. Afterward, he walked home to avoid the traffic and planned to retrieve his truck in the morning. But now it's a total loss. I was just shocked. I can't believe they had knocked my car that far. Police believe the driver of the blue pickup truck swerved back and forth across Independence, then up an embankment, traveling through the air before hitting Barnes' truck. My car is parked right here. I've got the, uh, the front of it facing here, and I've got the back of the pickup facing that way. And my car was knocked out there. And where you see that, that's at least 60, 65 feet that a Ford F-150 was knocked that far. That's unbelievable. The blue Dodge then flipped and crashed into the bank. The driver of that truck, 33-year-old Misty Luce of Virginia Beach, died at the hospital. But they had all of South Independence, you know, blocked off all four ways. It was a disaster. And we did ask police if Luce had a valid driver's license or if anything like speed or alcohol contributed to that crash. We also want to know if she is suspected of being the person who stole that truck. Right now, police tell me all of that is under investigation. In the newsroom, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. 10 on your side.